Hey guys, this is Josh F151 Tech back with another video. And in this video, I actually decided that I'm going to do some speed test using the uh, loner gateway slash modem that I have. Um, so I have other videos actually talking about this, why I actually have this device for now. Um, and I go more into detail about that in those other videos. Um, but this is actually called an NCGO uh, gateway slash modem. And I also go more into detail uh, about what this can do compared to the Chester Cheetah version 2 gateway slash modem. Um, and the Ninja uh, modem that I'm actually going to be getting. So I go more into detail um, in my other videos about that. So definitely check those out. Um, but I'm actually going to do some speed tests with this. Um, because I, I actually find it interesting with the speeds that I can actually get with this um, compared to the Chester Cheetah version 2 gateway slash modem um, and the Ninja that I'm going to be receiving soon. So um, let's actually open up the speed test app here and I'll uh, run some speed tests. And it is actually 7.38 p.m. Um, on a Sunday. So it's actually, you know, there's probably a lot of people, uh, you know, online right now. And as you can see here, I am on the West Norton PA server. So I'm going to run three on this, and I'm going to run a couple on the uh, Ashburn VA server as well. So let's actually see what we get here. And keep in mind, you know, that this is also not hooked up to any external antenna. This is not hooked up to a waveform 4x4 antenna. Um, you know, it's not hooked up to any, you know, external antenna. So this is just, you know, being done with the, you know, the NCGO, uh, you know, 5G and 4G, you know, antennas themselves. So that's definitely not bad at all. So uh, on the download on this one, 465 for the download, 5.25 for the upload, and uh, 39 ping. So definitely not bad at all. That's definitely very usable, you know, for a week or more. I mean, that's that, that would even be usable, you know, for, you know, most people anyway. You know, most people would probably be happy with that. But, you know, I, I, like, I myself, you know, I would rather get the 500 to 600, you know, though, like I'm used to getting. But, um, you know, that's definitely not too bad, though. That's actually about what I was getting with the, uh, with the uh, default, with the stock T-Mobile 5G home internet gateway. That's actually what I was about, you know, about what I was getting, you know, with that. So that's not too bad. So on this one, not bad at all. 458 for the download, 4.60 for the upload, and then uh, 39 ping. So yeah, I figured I figured I would make a video on this, you know. And as you guys can see, you know, it does take a little bit longer uh, for it to start the speed test, but um, you know, that's not really that big of a deal. That's actually to be expected because, like I said, you know, it's a smaller device. Um, and it's not, you know, it, it, it's not, you know, as good, you know, as, as a, you know, a waveform 4x4 antenna, um, you know, or a, you know, a Chester Cheetah version 2 gateway slash modem or a Ninja or something like that. Um, you know, it's not as good as, you know, the antennas on those. Um, you know, it's definitely not. So you just have to keep that in mind. This gateway, he told me, he said it only costs like $100, you know, I guess that's used, um, you know, if you get it used or something like that, you know, on eBay or something, you know, I saw one um, for only $120, you know, which is definitely not bad at all. Um, you know, I might actually pick one up, you know, uh, so I have one, you know, as a backup, you know, because these speeds are definitely, you know, usable, uh, you know, if I, you know, need a backup or something, you know, if my Ninja, uh, you know, messes up or something, or if, a, you know, another Chester Cheetah version 2 uh, gateway slash modem or, you know, SDX 75 uh, gateway slash modem messes up or something or any, uh, you know, future, you know, gateway slash modem that I have. Uh, you know, messes up, you know, I could, you know, get by with using this, uh, you know, definitely for a while anyway, you know, that's the thing, it's definitely not bad, um, but like I said, you know, I do want to actually be able to get over 500 to 600, you know, so, um, I definitely will be glad, you know, when I get the Ninja in my hand, you know, I'll definitely be glad, um, you know, to be able to hook up my waveform 4x4 antenna, um, you know, and test the speeds on that, you know, test the speeds on the Ninja, uh, you know, compared to the Chester Cheetah version version 2 uh, gateway 
slash modem, you know, so, um, I'm going to be doing, you know, videos on that when I get that, but, you know, like I said, um, you know, the holiday is tomorrow, so I'm not expecting anything tomorrow, obviously, um, you know, it hasn't even, you know, shipped yet, because he hasn't even gotten mine back, um, you know, for doing the exchange for, um, so, long story short, you know, I'm sending him my Chester Cheetah version 2 gateway slash modem, um, and I'm doing a swap for the Ninja, uh, gateway, uh, or modem, it's actually just a modem, because it doesn't have Wi-Fi capabilities, but, um, you know, it has the same features of the Chester Cheetah version 2, uh, gateway slash modem, but it doesn't have the Wi-Fi features, that's basically the only thing, um, you know, that's different, so, um, but, you know, that's basically, you know, where we're at, you know, that's why I have a loaner device, um, you know, and I figured, you know, I figured that I would do a video, you know, because I did a, you know, a speed test today on this, and I thought to myself, you know, hmm, you know, that's not that bad, you know, for a, you know, as small of a, uh, you know, gateway as this is, you know, a third-party gateway, you know, as small as this is, um, you know, it's definitely not bad speeds at all, um, so on this one, not bad, 460 for the download, 5.07 for the upload, and then, uh, 39 ping, so let me actually run some on the, uh, Ashburn VA server here, I don't actually know why it's doing this, it has been doing this recently, um, so let me actually go back into the speed test app here, I keep forgetting where it's at, sorry about that. So let me change the server here. I'll go to the uh, Asburn VA server here. Sometimes I forget the name of it, but um, also keep in mind that this server is actually like further away from me. So um, sometimes it doesn't, you know, give me the best ping, and it has actually been doing this um, with the in, with the NCGO. Um, recently it has been doing this, because, um, I'll be honest with you guys, it's not getting the best 5G signal, um, because it's like, uh, it, it, it just doesn't have, um, you know, the antenna, you know, capability as the, you know, as the Chester, uh, Cheetah version 2 does, or the, you know, uh, the, the, uh, you know, Ninja does, um, or, you know, even the T-Mobile, uh, you know, stock T-Mobile, uh, you know, gateways do, so, um, it does, like, uh, fluctuate sometimes like it goes from 4g to 5g um you know even up in the attic so it you know has to lose connection uh for a minute and then it you know then the connection comes back so i can see if it's back here but it doesn't actually it doesn't actually affect it to the point you know where it doesn't you know uh, where where if i'm watching something it doesn't actually affect it uh you know to the point where you know i can't you know watch something but i just wanted to let you guys know you know why it's doing that Because like I said, you know, it's a small, it's a very small gateway slash modem, you know, it's a very small unit, so, and like I said, you know, like I've said in my other videos, you know, we don't get, um, you know, if I didn't have that waveform 4x4 antenna, you know, I would probably, uh, you know, be facing that problem all the time, you know, with the, with the, uh, you know, the internet, you know, going, you know, fluctuating basically, you know, going from 4G to 5G, um, you know, with the, with the waveform 4x4 antenna, I don't have that problem, um, you know, like you guys saw there, you know, with it going offline, um, you know, that's probably why it didn't allow me to choose a server, um, you know, right away, because it was, you know, fluctuating between the 4G and the 5G signal, um, so it was, you know, basically acting like it was offline, even though it wasn't, um, you know, but, uh, like I said, you know, for the time being, you know, it's gonna be fine, you know, for the time being, um, you know, I'm probably gonna get the, you know, the Ninja here, um, you know, I would probably have to say maybe by Thursday or Friday, um, you know, so it's not really that big of a deal, you know, not really, you know, too big of a deal, um, you know, to deal with that, you know, minor thing, you know, for a while, so, um, but definitely not bad on this one, 491 for the download, wow, and then, uh, 10 even on the upload and 6 ping, but like I've said before, um, you know, the ping is not really that high on the server, so just keep that in mind. And as you guys can see, though, it still doesn't actually get over 500, so, you know, it's still not... Um, you know, not, not, not as reliable as the, as the, uh, you know, the waveform 4x4 antenna, you know, when that's hooked up. 
and obviously, you know, you can't expect that, but, um, you know, it's still, it's still very good, you know, almost 500, you know, 472 on this one, definitely not bad, and then, uh, 10 even again on the, uh, upload, so definitely not bad at all. And like I said, you know, that's, that's the thing. I mean, you're not going to really expect, um, you know, too much from a, you know, a gateway slash modem that's this small, but, um, you know, like I said, you know, it's still getting close to 500 and, you know, that's, that's definitely not bad for as small as it is really. And, you know, especially with it, you know, fluctuating like that, you know, that's definitely still not bad at all. Um, so 480 on this one for the download, 10.3, a little bit faster on the upload, um, and 59 ping, like I said, though, I don't really go by the ping on this server, so I'm going to switch over to the uh, West Norton PA server and run a few more on this one. And like I said, you know, it's not as reliable as you can see there, you know, because it is actually taking a little while for it to do the speed test. So it was doing that, you know, connecting there for a while, so... And I have actually noticed, you know, that even though we are getting these kind of speeds, I have actually noticed um, that it is actually a lot slower than the Chester Cheetah version 2 gateway slash modem um, or the Ninja that I'm actually going to be receiving. So it definitely is, you know, you can definitely notice the, uh, like, like not really, not really like, uh, like real, you know, too, like, like too slow or anything, um, but you can kind of, you can kind of tell that it's a little bit laggy, it's a little bit slower, um, than the Chester Cheetah version 2 gateway slash modem or the Ninja, um, you know, for sure, you know, or other, uh, you know, gateway slash modems, but I have noticed, um, that it's a little bit better than the, than the stock T-Mobile, uh, 5G home internet gateway but not by much um but it's it's a little bit better but not much I, I i would you know probably say that so um and you know like i said you know you have to you have to also keep in mind you know that's not hooked up to an external antenna um you know like i normally have my you know gateway slash modems hooked up to so um you know you can't really you know expect much you know from a small you know gateway slash modem that's just um you know relying on the internal antennas you know which are probably small uh you know like the unit itself you know building um you know smaller antennas so you just have to keep that in mind um so not bad on this one though 466 for the download five even on the upload um five even on the upload and then 36 ping and the ping is actually pretty good, honestly, for a small unit like this. I'm actually really surprised at the ping. I really am. And like I said, you know, I might even buy one of these because, the, you know, this would definitely get me... Uh, you know, this would definitely get me by, you know, for a few weeks or so, you know, with no problem. I mean, I wouldn't have a problem with using this. I might actually look into getting one, though, that's compatible with my Waveform 4x4 antenna. I might actually look into getting, like, a cheaper one. Um, I might end up getting, like, a, uh, I, I might end up purchasing, like, a, uh, Chester Cheetah version 1, uh, gateway slash modem, maybe off of eBay used or something, because they no longer sell them, um, on the Chester Tech Repairs website, so I might actually buy one, um, you know, used or something, you know, just to have as a backup, um, you know, a better, you know, a better backup solution, or I might just buy one, um, you know, in general to do a test, you know, with it and see what I get, uh, you know, with the older, you know, Chester Cheetah, uh, you know, version one gateway slash modem, you know, just to see what I would get with it, um, you know, I might do that, you know, just for something to do, um, or, you know, like I said, you know, just so I have the, you know, antenna capabilities, you know, for a third party, uh, you know, backup gateway, you know, that would definitely be a good thing, so, um, but definitely not bad on this one, 455 for the download, 2.79 for the upload, you know, the upload is suffering quite a bit, um, 
Um, you know, but like I said, you know, it's not uh, hooked up to a, you know, a waveform 4x4 antenna, you know, so it's not going to be, uh, you know, really fast, you know, I'm not really expecting much, but it's definitely better, uh, you know, like I said, than, than it was, you know, getting in my room, you know, on the second floor, so um, definitely a lot better, but uh, like I said, you know, 455 for the download, 2.79 for the upload, and then uh, 39 ping, so definitely not too bad, let me run one more here. As you guys can see, you know, it is taking a little while to get it started there. But, you know, it doesn't hinder the use of it or anything, but... Um, just, just a little bit of hiccups, you know, here and there. Like I said, you know, it will, um, you know, occasionally, you know, switch from 4G to 5G, and then it'll stay on 4G for a while, and then it'll go back to 5G. Um, you know, but like I said, you know, it's a small... Uh, you know, gateway slash modem, so you have to keep that in mind, you know, it's, it doesn't have an external antenna, you know, connected to it, so, and like I said, you know, the 5G in our area is still spotty, so you can't really, you know, expect much from it, you know, like with a, you know, unit being that small, so, um, but like I said, you know, the download is definitely not bad at all, um, you know, it's still not getting, you know, over 500, you know, it's getting close, um, but, you know, if I, it, maybe if I put it near the window, you know, it probably would get 500, but I, I, you know, I, I really don't want to do that, you know, because like I said, you know, I don't want to, um, you know, I don't want to run an extension cord because I would be running it on an extension cord, um, over there. And then, you know, if we have like a storm or something, um, and it got, you know, struck by lightning, you know, I would be, you know, owing him a hundred and some dollars. So I don't want to, um, you know, do that with a, you know, loaner gateway where I have it right now, um, um, I actually have it hooked up to a, uh, to a, uh, basically a surge protector, um, you know, so I don't want to, you know, I don't want to risk that. I don't want to, you know, run it on a, you know, on a longer extension cord, um, you know, and then, you know, risk something going on with it, you know, and then, you know, me telling him, oh, um, you know, your, your, uh, gateway slash modem, your lunar device got struck by lightning, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to have to, you know, do that. I don't want to have to replace that, um, you know, on top of my Chester Cheetah version 2 gateway slash modem, so, um, you know, I'm already, I'm already getting the, you know, the Ninja for free, basically, so, um, you know, I definitely don't want to, you know, mess up his, uh, you know, his, uh, lunar device that he lent me, so, um, so on this one, not bad at all, though, 463 for the download, uh, 2.93, as you guys can see, you know, the, the upload is suffering more, um, than it would actually, you know, if I have the, if I had the waveform 4x4 antenna connected, um, you know, but that's, you know, that's, uh, normal, <clears throat> because, you know, like I said, you know, it's not hooked up to a, um, you know, an external antenna, so, um, you know, you, you're not going to really, you know, get 500 to 600 on the download, um, and you're also not going to get, you know, the best upload speed or the best ping, but the ping um, actually hasn't been really too bad, so that's actually a really good thing, but, um, but uh, anyway, yeah, guys, that's basically the video, um, I'm not really sure if I'm going to make any more speed test videos on this, because like I said, it's just a loaner device, um, but they, they definitely weren't that bad, you know, let me know, uh, let me know down below in the comments what you guys think about this with the, uh, the NCGO, uh, you know, gateway with the, uh, you know, the tests here, let me know, uh, you know, what you guys think in the comments, I definitely want to know, I want to hear what you guys have to say, uh, you know, down below in the comments, because, you know, I, I honestly think that they're not that bad, you know, compared to the, uh, waveform 4 4x4 antenna being hooked up to it, um, you know, that's definitely not that bad, I mean, you're getting, uh, you know, almost 500, you know, and I get like 500 to 600, you know, with the waveform 4x4 antenna, um, you know, hooked up to it, so it's not, it's definitely not too bad, but like I said, you know, I do want to actually be able to get over 500, um, you know, so that's the thing, you know, that's why I'm going to be, you know, happy when I get the uh, Ninja here, uh, you know, so I know that I'll be able to get over 500 to 600, you know, sometimes 700, so, um, you know, but that's, you know, that's definitely usable, you know, especially as a backup, you know, it's definitely not bad at all, um, but anyway, yeah, guys, like I said, just wanted to get this video out there, if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe, and until next time, guys.